Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jess. This is the Sakura Jima base that I have. Just a mixture of everything in here. I don't think this is my most try hard base. I think the one is all the way in the left. But uh, before we go up, I want to I want to I want to showcase the rest of it. Okay, back on the first floor, we are welcomed to two crude oil spots i have not done the glitch where you can put two three four five six of them on each node because i frankly do not care for it at this base it's just a big open grid 19 by 19 same exact thing i make the palacio right here oh wow we're running out um and i have all the machinery all over the place and why is it lagging so bad hello Okay, second floor. This one I like a little more. It's nice and open. We have a lot of machinery, trees, and stuff. Please tell me that you guys got to this. No one got to this yet. Oh, I know why. Ha! Huh. Um, it's because they're all upstairs. Let me just clear this out so the Bushi not can actually do something with his life. Come on. Okay. Going upstairs, fighting against the world's worst lag in the world, and we are met with some ranches, double ores. This is this is a hole in one, except for cake. This is a fully independent base. We got a lot of ores, we got a lot of stone, we got a lot of stuff, and right here is a lot of pal gear. I'm saving these for their own specific videos, and um, yeah, this is a, a nice lovely base. If I ever felt like it, I could just hit a tree, sorry, a mushroom tree, and garner a lot of mushrooms. So, you know, that's some free, decent food. And this is the fourth floor. This one is where uh, the majority of the pals actually spend their time. I have chests there where lots of them tend to deposit their stuff. For all the pals that aren't able to get into this area, specifically the Wumpos, I have the Wumpos and Hell Zephyrs do it. And this is where they deposit all this stuff. From either the benches, or these little nodes. Oop, I picked that up. I did not need to. Woo! And then over here is more stations! Yeah, and this is also a cement base. And upstairs, man, we're lagging real bad. Upstairs is beds. And then upstairs from that are a line of crushers and ranches. Or not ranches, just those ovens, I guess. And some extra stuff right here. This is for whenever I encounter these me meteorites. I mean, obviously I could just do this. Take out a whole chunk of it and it gives me 5k. But that's only if, right? That's only if. And then upstairs from the previous downstairs are more beds. And then up here is a nice little area for more beds and an eatery. But the thing here is I made the tables a little bit off. It's supposed to be this way, the long way. Hot dog way going hot dog way. Not hamburger going hot dog way. So um, I kind of messed up on that and I'm frankly too lazy to fix it. But yeah, that is this base. I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I like the top part, very simple. Bottom part, nice little factory, so to speak, going in here. Everything above, like, the third floor and up is good. Everything below that is, like, uh, not the greatest. And I do, I will say that right here in this area, I did have the assembly lines previously. And they were right next to these burners. But, um... Right now, I don't care for them. It's those dang pal gear benches that are making me lag. And I'm just waiting for my transport pals to get back to transporting. Because that is what they need to do. Anyways, that's it for this base. I'll see you guys in my volcano base. Which, honestly, I spent the majority of time on, but it's not that spectacular. Um, I would say. Alright, peace. See you guys in the next one. Bye.